how sweet the sound oh, yes. It saved a wretch like me Oh, I was, I was lost Anytime all of us hear testimonies, we're always inspired. But first, we want to bring up my co host tonight and the assistant pastor of this church, Pastor Lord Scott. Amen. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Can I tell your, your latest joke you, you told Sister Diane and I this morning who he is? He's not my co host. Can I tell who you are? <laughs> He's my arm candy tonight. <laughs> anybody know what that is? Minister Diane went. Does anybody know what arm candy is? I'll tell you later. <laughs> but those are those good-looking something on somebody's arm. That's a good-looking pastor. Isn't it? <laughs> I had to mess with you. You're always messing with us. But we love Pastor Lord here, amen. And we're so thankful for each one of you. Where We're going to get right into our interview. In a moment, you're going to see a picture on the screen. You're looking at a picture of a young man. What a name, though, Isaiah and Ahosa. And I hope I'm saying that last name right. But this young man was a man that was very angry. You can kind of look at the picture and tell. And, and when there's anger, somebody's subject to get hurt. And a lot of people did that were around uh, Isaiah. But not only a, a young man of anger, or a young man that wound up even in a mental hos uh, hospital at a very young age. 
uh, uh, background of uh, abuse in the family and even witchcraft in the family. And we'll deal with some of that tonight. And uh, Pastor Lord, did you want to add anything before we bring our guest up? Uh, yes, I, I thought of two scriptures that would fit Isaiah's testimony. Mm. And what a wonderful testimony. It gives us all faith as we work for God to win souls that nobody's too far away. Nobody's too far gone. In Isaiah, it's a prophecy of Jesus. He went to Nazareth and he quoted this scripture that was 700 years before he was born. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted and to proclaim liberty yeah. to the captives. Oh, Amen and to the opening of the prison to them that are bound. That's what Jesus did. Now, when Jesus came on the scene, and 700 years later, uh, after the day of Pentecost, oh, the, one of the apostles said this about him, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and with power, mm -hmm. who went about wow. doing good and healing all, all mm -hmm. that were oppressed. Yes. Of the devil, for God was with him. Oh, amen. That fits our testimony tonight. Amen. Amen. We're Church of New Beginnings and Guests. Would you help us welcome our guest, Isaiah Inehosa? Now, a young man of God. Amen. And we're so thankful you're here tonight, Isaiah. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. You can be seated, and we'll all be seated tonight. Amen. First, I want to um, acknowledge his uh, church members. He has church members here and friends here. And if you all would just raise your hands right there and let our Internet audience see you. Thank you so much for coming tonight. And I want to recognize his fiance tonight. And I keep forgetting names, Isaiah. Here you go. As <laughs> you laugh, he's crying and laughing all at the same time. But I want to recognize his fiance and her little girl who he has raised her whole how old is she now? Seventeen, 17 months. months. Seventeen months. If you'd wave your hand, amen. We're so thankful for each one of you being here tonight. And of course you all know his testimony, but um uh, I know you all are like me. I love testimonies. And a couple of our church members, or maybe it was four, but I believe they met you in a restaurant, Isaiah. And he began to tell his story to them. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. That's correct. It uh, was right. kind of funny how it happened. I had the deliverance that Sunday. And then uh, we went to wash clothes at my dad's later on that night. And uh, we just felt the, 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 the devil in there really bad. you know. And I just had a deliverance. I just got saved. And so I told her, I said, you know what? Uh, I said, let's, let's get out of here. Let's put the clothes to wash and then go get something to eat. We went to three different places to try to find something to eat. Mm -hmm. And each place we went closed. And I'm like, you know, it ain't supposed to close at 10. Why is it closed? It's 930. So finally, we went to Subway, then the dollar store because she had to buy something. It was closed. Then we went to this Chinese restaurant. It was closed. Wow. Then we went to Whataburger. And uh, we ran into some members of the church here. And they asked about my arm because I have a scar from my uh, wreck I had. And... I'm pretty sure every time somebody asks about my arm, they get they 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 don't expect what's coming next. I end up giving them a 10, 15 minute story about my uh about how I got saved, and so we told her I told her how I got saved and everything, and then they invited me over here, and I got to meet these wonderful people. Hey Amen. We're giving my hand again. We're so glad that you're here tonight. Well, Isaiah, we're gonna jump right into your testimony. We want you to take us back to the little boy Isaiah in an abusive household and even some uh, roots of witchcraft. Tell us a little about that time. Well, you know, I... Yeah. Bless you. Yeah. You know, my earliest memories, really, I always remember just hiding on the table and, uh, you know, crying. Because my dad, he had a bad temper. He was one of the men you have to walk on eggshells around because you never knew what was going to set him off. And, you know, I, I didn't realize how much of a effect it had on me. It made me very desensitive to violence. I don't know if you know what that is. It's like some...